Hello once again. So my name is Michael C. Pasis from Mapua University and under the School of EEC. So welcome to my uh, online electrical engineering review and tutorial channel. And today we will discuss the basic fundamentals of the balanced polyphase system and we can describe the different types of connection under it. So let us uh, recap what we have discuss discussed so far. First, we discuss under the uh, polyphase systems is the power factor correction, then followed by phase sequences. And then from the phase sequences, we describe what is a balanced polyphase all about. So let us recap the balanced polyphase. Balanced polyphase is a system wherein you have a three phase, three vectors, set of three vectors, having the same magnitude, but they differ 120 degree apart. So it means whatever happens, they have the same magnitude, 120 degree apart in phase displacement. Okay, I have here a Y to Y uh, connected source and load. So our first discussion is more on Y connected. And as you can see here, we have the following um, vectors here. We have the VAN, VC, VBN, and VCN respectively. So the VAN there, the VBN, and the VCN are the so-called phase voltages. Okay? So the phase voltages are the voltages connected up to the point N or point N of the system. Now, this system, by the way, is a three-phase four-wire. It means you have a three-phase source and you have four wires. Okay? And the fourth wire is a neutral wire, this color red uh, conductor here. And then your neutral current is assumed is going back to the source. Okay? So you also have, you have Y connected. Now, Y connected, by the way, is a star or a Y connection. It's like an inverted Y or sometimes Y, like this. Okay? So it is the same. Now, you have also here a Y connected source, uh, rather a Y connected uh, load. And there are Z phase, uh, they are uh, called Z phase. Now, that Z phase, as long as balance, you have your impedance at A, impedance at B, and impedance at C, they are the same magnitude and direction. So it means they have, they are balanced simply because they, they are equal to each other. As long as balance, the impedances are the same. Considering a transmission line, okay. Transmission line has a negligible uh, impedance. So you can see here there's no resistance or reactance. And it is like a power system already. Simply because here, this is your source. And here, this is your load. It represented by this diagram. I could say this one is a power system diagram. Okay, what is the characteristic or relationship of a Y connected source and Y connected load. By the way, there will be a separate video for this, if you, a comprehensive discussion on how these two were derived. Now, for for this purpose, this just a review or refresher course. We will have a separate lesson for that. And what are the relationships for a Y connected source and load? The line currents. Okay, here's the line currents is uh, the same with the phase curve. And by the way, I forgot to mention also one thing. One characteristic of this Y-connected load is this line-to-line -line voltages. So this line-to-line -line voltages are already described on our uh, phase sequences. That is uh, VAB, BBC, and VCA respectively, and having this polarity marks. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So whatever the letter that comes first, that will be the positive. And otherwise, the second letter is negative. If that is inverse, you need to anti-phase. So that is your line voltage. Now, it's pretty clear that the line current is equal to your phase current simply because the currents are in series, in series fashion. So that is the relationship for the line current. However, the relationship on the voltage is VL is equal to, to uh, VL rather is equal to 
square root of 3 of v pace. Please take note, we're considering magnitudes only. Magnitudes. Okay, by KCL at point N, okay, we could say that the vectors of the line currents, if we add them, that will be equal to the neutral current. As long as that, that is balanced, this is approximately to zero. It means the current on the neutral conductor magnitude is zero. First, when we go to the uh, um, to the more comprehensive discussion of this lesson, and hence you can now get here a more a more practical solution. If you have a power system diagram like this, you can use the per pace analysis solution. So when we say per pace basis or per pace analysis or PPA, in other words, we use a fa one phase of the system to be analyzed using circuit analysis. So from this, that will be the equivalent of this circuit, okay, per pace basis. And you just get one phase of the system. And please take note, since this IN is zero, thus this is your neutral, right? You have the same ground because your IN is zero. It's like if IN is zero, you're considering, okay, this one is open. But that is grounded, right? Because three phase forward. But remember... The magnitude of the line current is zero, but it's not necessary. There's no resistance. The resistance is negligible, but not zero. In that case, this is your uh, neutral ground. So we can have a per phase basis on phase A. And you can use Ohm's law to solve for, for example, for the current IA. Okay, now this is the description for a Y-connected load and Y-connected source. Please take note as well, we make use always of a Y-connected source and Y-connected load to have a per pace basis. And we will make use of this analysis when we go forward to problem solving. And thus, please take note of the relationship again, IL is equal to I phase and VL is equal to square root of 3 of V phase for a Y-connected source and Y-connected load. Now we will describe or discuss delta connection on the next slide. Please stay tuned. Hi, hello, and good day to all of you. Now we will discuss the second type of connection of a balanced polyphase system. And from what we have discussed on the first slide, we discuss a Y-connected system. Now, a delta-connected system, by the way, is also a mesh-connected system. Mesh-connected system. It's like a triangle, as you can see here. Okay, uh, here you can see Z delta here is your impedances. And they are the same because they are connected in, in delta and they are balanced to each other. Okay, also we have here V phase, which is equal to VAN. VBN and VCN respectively. This V phase of the source. And we have here the line voltages. Again, VAB, VBC, and VCA. And please take note, we have terminal points here, which we will uh, have uh, a, uh, a cut-off next time we, when we uh, uh, solve some problems. Simply because to simplify things. So that cut-off or terminal points compose of uh, point A, B, and C, which constitutes to this circuit at the source side. Okay? So it means there is a Y-connected source at the source side. By the way, this is a Y source and a delta-connected load. Also, you have your V pace at the uh, load side, which I could say capital A, B, B, C, and C, A, respectively, as you can see here. A, B, B, C, and C, A. Also, there are some things that you need to know as well. The line currents is still the same, which is coming from the source side, and you have phase currents, IAB, IBC, and ICA. So these are phase currents and line currents. If you can uh, 
still recall what we have discussed on phase sequence that this tree here is in terms of capital letters this is the phase currents from that delta connected load from a to b b to c and c to a so we will stick again to the letters okay so that we need we become more consistent and that is by default and thus we can have the relationships it's pretty clear that the voltage at the load which is VAB for in this case is simply equal to the terminal points at the line voltage VAB or simply in other words your VPACE is equal to VL which is here there's a check mark here but the current is not equal to I phase because that is not series it will uh, uh, break down into other types of currents because uh, you have current IA here and it will be break into IAB or ICA so thus the current is equal to square root of 3 times I phase and please take note these both equations are in terms of magnitude and we will tackle this more on a separate lesson if uh, we have here uh, if we have the uh, um, uh, ample of time to uh, discuss these relationships and thus if you want to have a per pace basis of this circuit you can have a delta to y conversion and for balance we have z delta is equal to three times a y okay this will be another uh, 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 lesson for circuits that we can have the delta to y, y to delta for balance and unbalanced impedances. And thus, if you want to have the zy, just divide z delta by 3. And in this case, you can have a y connected load now. Okay, I could say zy. And you have the opportunity again to have a pair pace basis up to that point at phase A, phase B, or phase C. Okay, I think uh, we already covered up what we need to, to discuss. So, our next slide will be the summary of the formulas that we will make, we will use for uh, balanced polyphase systems. So, please, please stay tuned. Hi. So we will conclude our discussion on balanced polyphase systems using these formulas here that we can present on this video or in this slide. So please take note of the following figures. Figure 1 is the Y-connected uh, system while figure 2 is the delta-connected system because some of the formulas here can be easily derived on that figure. Okay, first from figure number 1, if you have the KVL at some of the loops there on the uh, figure number one in terms of the line voltages and phase voltages we can arrive at this very very important formula I usually make use of this as my ABC formula number one simply because you're just like having a an ABC uh, alphabet so A followed by B followed by B followed by C and then C will return to A. So in this case, VAB or line voltage at AB is VAN minus VBN. Please take note, all of these are vectors. So if you want to get VBC vector, so VBN minus VCN. If you want to get VCA, VCN minus VAN. So as you can see, ABC formula. It's a very, very useful tool because this formula here, which is ABC formula number, we, may, we will make use of that or a, a, a recall on unbalanced that this formula here is a very flexible formula because you can use it on balance and unbalance systems. Okay? Also, we make use of this as well that we have uh, derived the per pace basis because of the relationship of the neutral current which is IA, IB plus IC respectively. Now, there is another relationship as well. As long as balance, the line voltages AB, BC, and CA, if you add them vectorially, equals to zero. And this two, 
that the line current is equal to the phase current, while the uh, vo voltage at the line is equal to square root of 3 of V phase. And that constitutes for Y connected systems. Please take note, these are the summary of the formulas. And on a delta connected system, if you take note of the KCL at the nodes A, B, and C at the delta connected load, we can arrive to another important formula, which is the so-called ABC formula number 2, okay? Which is a, a flexible formula for balance and unbalance. So again, we make use of the letters. A, B, C, and then you return to A. So, the mnemonic is, where you begin, then there you will end. Where you begin, then there you will end. So, what's the meaning of that? That where you begin, then there you will end. It means that if you start from a letter, letter A, then you will end at letter A as well. And use ABC formula. So, you can see here, A must start with A, then use A, B, C. B, followed by C, then end with A. You start with A, you end with A. Right? So, very, very useful tool for mnemonics. You will do the same pattern for B. You will begin at B, C, and then C. It not B, right? It will go to A again because you have three vectors only. Then you will end at B. Then it will followed by C. I, C is equal to I, C, A. Then A followed by B, and then end with C. You begin with C, then you will end with C. So a very, very easy formula. And then this is a very, very useful tool because this one is a flexible formula and you can use balance and unbalance. Please take note, we use Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. And those two laws are very important. And it is applied here on our polyphase system. And... These are the two uh, equations that we have described a while ago, that the line voltage is equal to V phase, IL is equal to square root of 3 of I phase, magnitude only. And last but not the least, the line currents, if you add it vectorially, the answer is zero. So please take note of those uh, formulas. And these are very, very, very for important formulas for our problem solving. Now we can solve problems on balanced polyphase systems. And again, thank you at maraming salamat po.